you know, the opportunities came, you know, week in and week out, you know, rather than, you know, my time in Minnesota, you know, I had the opportunities, you know, to play this same position or the big nickel position, but, you know, it was, it was, it was seldom that I was getting that opportunity week in and week out. So, you know, I think the only thing that's changed since I've been here is, you know, the opportunities presented itself week in and week out and uh, just giving me the ability to be on the field at all times. For a casual fan who might not know what exactly all of your responsibilities are as a big nickel, what would you tell them? How would you describe it? Uh, think of a, 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 a normal nickel that's playing in the slot, covering. You know, you have to do the same things that a normal nickel does. You know, uh, you, know you cover receivers, you cover tight ends. You know, it, it's, it's, no, it's no different. I know you've been in the league for several years now. How much has the game changed in terms of the ways you have to defend it? And how much do you see your current position as a response to the evolving offenses? Uh, you know, I think the game changed a lot. Uh, you know, we... It's becoming a pass-first league, and uh, you know, having having guys like myself, you know, and, and the other other safeties that can play multiple multiple positions, uh, you know, it helps it helps out it helps out a lot. Uh, like you don't have you don't get you don't get caught up in positions where you know you may have a linebacker that's good for for run but can't play the pass. You have a safety that you know can play the pass and also can play in the run, and uh, you know, it's, it's it's multiple guys around the league that that does this at a high level, uh, you know, but. Like I said, I don't feel like anyone does it at the level that I do it at because of my size and the way that allows me to play in the box and you don't lose the size of a linebacker, you know, but you, you gain coverage, but you still get the, you know, the same, same run defense as a linebacker. Uh, and I definitely think uh, with the way the game is changing, you know, it's, it's, adding, it's adding a lot of value to the safety position because uh, you get guys that can play multiple positions. You know, you got the, the Tyron Matthews who, who's a safety but can go down and play in the nickel, and he also gets in the box. Uh, so it's a, it's a lot of it's a lot of guys to look at, you know, that I look at and like to watch when I'm when I'm when I'm studying someone, you know. And uh, I definitely believe it's adding value to us because, you know, you don't have a lot of players that can go out, a lot of different positions that can go out and play multiple positions. Uh, you know, you see it you see it with Jalen Ramsey, uh, you know, being a corner that can go into the inside and then play play at a high level. But yeah. you don't see a lot of corners get bumped inside and then get used to blitz and that type of thing. Uh, that's that's mainly safeties who. You know, we can bump them down and we can bring them off the edge. We can put them in coverage or we can play them in the box. So, yeah. you know, I definitely feel like uh, the safety position is, at, is, is gaining a lot of value. For sure. We were just talking to TP about how he's a running back, but he's getting used more in the passing game and sort of like going between those words when he's preparing. What's the challenge as a defender against preparing against someone like that? And why does that give y'all an advantage having a player like Tony on your team? Uh, it's, a, it's, a huge, it's a huge advantage for the offense and a, a bit of a disadvantage for the, for the defense because – you know, when that when that guy's in, you never know where he's going to be. So, you know, one play he might be at receiver, then the next play he's out at running back. You know, it kind of messes up your count because, you know, you don't know if you're getting 11 personnel, you're getting 10, or you're getting 12 for the simple fact that he's a multi-positional player. And, uh, you know, you've seen exactly some of the things that, that, that could be done with that with uh, Debo Samuels. And, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, having that ability to do that with TP is going to help our offense a lot because TP is a dynamic player in this league. Did you know much about Dan Quinn before you got here? Uh, yeah, I knew about Dan Quinn. Uh, you know, we we spoke when I came out, and then also just really knew about him because of the things that he did with uh, Seattle and the Legion of Boom, uh, and always just admired the way he had those guys flying around and playing great defense.